Bay Area on high alert right now as dry lightning could hit the region. And that's not the only threat. Gusty winds are currently rolling in. That dangerous combination is now unleashing a risk of new wildfires sparking. New video from Chopper 5 shows just how bone dry it is in the East Bay Hills. We have team coverage on the fire danger. We begin with Chief Meteorologist Paul Hagan with more of the red flag warning that just went into effect. Paul. And we will get to Wilson Walker in the East Bay in just a moment. Do want to give you the details of what we expect as we head through tonight. The lightning threat is the main concern with that potential for thunderstorms to develop and roll through the North Bay and East Bay primarily. That's where the greatest concern is between now and 11 o'clock tomorrow morning is when the red flag warning expires. It looks like the greatest threat should be moving off to the east by about 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. It's a 50% storm chance. That is a higher risk compared to what we were talking about 24 hours ago. So if those thunderstorms develop any cloud to ground lightning, is not going to be balanced out by much precipitation out of these storms. They're not going to be completely dry, but just not enough rain to really put out any fires that could start. Plus, those storms could produce gusty winds that would then fan the flames. This is not a completely unusual setup for September and October. So we have this heat dome retreating off to the east. That, with an approaching storm system, is funneling this moisture up towards the Bay Area. And that's the source for these thunderstorms that are going to are going to develop primarily late this evening and overnight. Take a look at high def Doppler as things stand right now coming up in the full forecast. All right, Paul, thank you. KPI X 5s Wilson Walker is out Mount, ha Mount Hamilton with more on the lightning threat. Wilson. Yeah, Liz, up here where the SCU lightning complex fire burned through just over one year ago, and you better believe the firefighters who patrol this area and the observatory right over here, they are all watching the weather tonight. Um, we are at full staffing right now. We just have a lot of resources out on different incidents in the in the state of California. So right now we're at where we're able to be. Cal Fire Santa Clara unit still busy helping with the fires in the Sierra just as the threat of lightning returns to the Bay Area. This year our vegetation and our um, weather patterns are kind of unprecedented. It's like nothing we've seen before. And so that makes for um, fighting fires. It makes it extremely difficult for our resources that are on the ground. Extra equipment is on standby at the Morgan Hill headquarters and other preparations are being made all the way across the hills of the East Bay where fire departments will have extra crews at the ready. Equipment wise, what we uh, attempt to do is put together a pre-positioned strike team. So okay. a strike team is five like resources or a task force, which is five resources of any type. Okay. Um, typically those engines will have three to four firefighters on them. Cal Fire says it's working with NOAA to track the weather. And if a lightning strike does hit the ground, they know exactly when it happened and often within several meters of where it landed. Now, what's harder to know is whether or not that strike has sparked a fire. Um, all we can do within our unit is be prepared, and that's why we have um, a plan in place so that we can be prepared and send resources as appropriate. Now, I mentioned the Lick Observatory, which is just down the road here. We've got the drone up for you so you can take a look at it. Fire really did burn right up to the structures. Uh, firefighters valiantly saved just about everything up here. But the observatory now serves another purpose. We can show you the two cameras, the fire cameras that are now installed on the visitor center here at the Lick Observatory. They kind of can point in, you know, obviously two different directions there. You can see the, the dome of the observatory off of one of them. So the observatory, a fire survivor, now part of the fire watch up here on Mount Hamilton. We hear this every time they come through. It's just entirely unpredict, un entirely unpredictable where these bolts are going to land. Then you got to figure out whether or not a fire has started at night. That can be incredibly difficult. You have to sometimes get people out on the ground to see what might have happened. But here we go again. Everybody just sort of standing by to see what happens. Liz? He's holding their breath, that's for sure. All right, Wilson, thank you.